Hello! Oh my gosh, it worked so well. Look at this, friend nose. I'm so like glowy and look at that. Probably a brisket stain, let's be honest here. We'll just fold that over. <laughs> we got a view. A cozy stream for sure. Hi friends. I'll just turn this down a little bit, Sammy. Sammy really crushed it. And music is good too. I just want to ask before we get going here. There we go. I think we're dialed in now, yeah? Yeah. She's dialed. Okay, welcome friends. Vune was first. Hi Vune. Hello to Vicariously Through You. Hi Madame. Welcome. Silent One. Good to see you. We're giving White Dove a reason to stop doing housework. I love that. Yeah, it's Monday. Let's let's not do that anymore. Cheese. Hi, Cheese. Welcome, welcome. So good to have another food and drink streamer in here with us. Cozy Strum for sure. Yeah, these are our new our camping chairs. Hi, Kimmers. Yeah, the pizza senpai. Gotta call the dentist so you're running away. Okay, sounds good, madame. Good luck with the call. How is everyone doing? Yeah, we have not done a Monday stream in... Whew, I can't even remember the last time. A couple years? Yeah, a couple years probably. And obviously you can see uh, we got Sammy back home safe last night. We decided to just basically bite the bullet. It cleared up quite a bit last night when I arrived in Jasper around 8.30 p.m. And we just quickly packed up the car, drove home, got home around 1.30 in the morning, fell asleep around 2, woke up at 10. And yeah, we just took an extra hour just to reset up the stream inside for us so it looked really good. Mouse post, nothing says food service quite like a bunch of bus pans in the house. Who, who would do that? I'm actually really impressed. Like my brother and Finn had those before we even got here. They're really good. You're doing good cheese. That's good to hear. Okay. So we're doing, I guess a little how to today is I would love to teach people how to plan a menu for the week. I think it's something that can be super daunting and I feel like it's also important. It's a way that you can save money because you can plan a menu according to the season and like sales in the stores, stuff like that. And I also feel like if you plan a menu for yourself to eat throughout the week, you eat better, more healthy, and well, you also have the chance to maybe learn something new. Cheese, you've been testing the sourdough Detroit recipe a bunch lately and all the results have been excellent. Oh, well, if you need another tester of the recipe, let me know because I got a starter from a friend. So we can also do that, my dude. Yeah, planning is winning. Yeah, most posts would know. I'm sure you plan out your ice cream flavors maybe a week in advance, I'm not sure. Also, is there a different flavor of the week? Or sorry, you're, no, you're not the one with the ice cream shop, most posts. I think Rolo. I'm wrong, it's Rolo. Yeah. Rar. hi Riot. <laughs> I'm a bit sleepy today, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You're dying get, to share it? Yes. We didn't get home until about 2 a.m. Yeah, I'm a bit sleepy. It's okay. And I will also say, so Monday menu planning stream, I always plan my menu on Mondays anyways and post in Discord and on Twitch. So I thought it would be fun to maybe also get a little bit of community input for it this week. This is a way if you guys join the stream on our menu planning days, maybe you can add your little special touch on what's going to go down on stream for the week. Wife just finished an impromptu night stream, Rose. Usually not on Monday nights either. How fun. Was it fun? That's awesome. Well, welcome in. Good to have you. You like this idea, White Dove? Perfect. I'm into it as well. So the first thing that I always do when I plan my menus, this is going to bug me for like the whole stream. Just like really lighten it up. <laughs> Let's just pretend like it's not there. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> Brisket fat. So I always go into my Twitch first thing and then go to the channel point, the pots and pans redemption requests. No one even noticed. Okay, thanks, Fune. Phew. 
So I always check out the reward requests. Can I open this in a separate page though? Cause I can't really see. There we go. And so we have a couple here. Okay, someone already crossed off the one from Vune. <laughs> 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 someone already did the one from Green Fang for me, so thank you for that. And now we have one, two, the... three, nope. four. Oh, the... Annie's anyway. is done yeah. still, or already. Complete. One. So one from Eric, one from Mish, one from Double Tap, one from Blondie, and now one from Vune. So we have quite a few requests to also cross off the list which I always am trying to do at least one per week and it's it's fun for me to do something different that way too do I have an experience cooking venison yeah actually quite a bit I would say riot so if you need any help with that yeah keep asking questions we got this Sammy is also hunted for venison before so he really knows a lot about it probably more than me and Vune, let me ask, what was that request for? And thank you so much for saving up 75,000 pots and pans points watching the stream to get me to make something for you live. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure cilantro's not needed this week since we couldn't <laughs> find it. It will probably be funny, White Dove. The stores will just be like overflowing this week with cilantro, right? And hi, Kame. Yeah, bonus stream today. I'm trying to add a few extra hours onto the month. So we thought we would add a few bonus streams in. You will think about it, Vion. How do I feel about Italian? I think you I'm already Italian. know how I feel. I've rolled a lot of pasta in the last two I weeks. I know how I feel. Hello, I've Gavino. Oh, yeah. rolled a lot of pasta Sammy's in the last been two weeks. Making, uh, a sort of semolina half and half yeah, semolina white ours. flour it's better. you're finding a good recipe what's one that you always do didn't you like always make a veal salt and boca or something like that like let's do something crazy Vune. i like it okay so let's go through our reward queue is what it's called for me. <laughs> so Eric is requesting Cubanos, but his has to wait. He specifically asked if we could do this as the first meal being made once the truck is set up. And he knows he's going to be waiting. That was already three months ago. And that's Blondie's first meal, I guess. And then, no, that was for Eric wants Cubanos. I know, but Blondie wants the first meal that comes off the food truck. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, that's true. Blondie's going to eat it. Okay, sounds good, Kame. And good luck at your doctor's appointment. I hope you're A-OK. -okay. Just a quick checkup. Hi, Lauren. Hi, how are you? And oh my gosh, ah, first time streaming on a Monday in so long. And Stream Dad is coming Wicked. in with his crew of 82. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is our first ever menu planning stream on a Monday. No cooking today, sad to say. We are just planning what we're going to be making coming up on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on Twitch. So if you want any input on that stream, Dad, feel free to ask away. Hello, UK dude. Welcome, welcome. And also thank you for sharing your community with us. I know you've been hanging out the last couple days and we've been super enjoying it. So welcome to our crew. And as you can see, Stream Dad is a part of our kitchen crew, which I am also honored. How did your stream go today? What did you get up to? Hello, Nanako. Welcome. And thank you as well for the follow, UK dude. So hi to everyone new here. I am Kate. This is my hubby, Sam. If you see him in chat, he is a mod and his username is Omdog. We are both professionally trained chefs who are currently in our next endeavor to build a mobile kitchen to put the stream into and travel the world, hopefully, once COVID is better and like come and visit viewers, do in-person cooking classes when it's safer to do that, all sorts of stuff. Thanks for the follow as well, Ninako. 
It rained, so you took the day off from building greenhouses. That's what you've been doing? Oh, I heckin' love oh, gardening yeah, so his, much. His I will have to are top notch. I will have to go check it out. I'm not even joking. Like I have a really good green thumb. I'm kind of feeling like I'm missing out because I'm not growing anything this year because we did a move halfway through the summer. That is amazing though. Uh you have too much stuff going on, on the internet right now, it's lagging. You either get an iPad or your phone. <laughs> when the hub you guys in shit. <laughs> Thank you as well for the follows, Dal Gurak, as well as Illumitai. Hope you're having a good day. Hi, Clemmy. Welcome, welcome. I hope your day is good too. Well, it did like for me. I don't know if anyone else saw that. Oh, thanks, Nanako. Yeah, I picked this one up. Please, don't look at my uh, brisket fat stain. There's nothing to see there. We got this at TwitchCon 2019 when we went to San Diego, one of the last TwitchCons to happen before COVID. And yeah, this is a Traeger sweater I for smoke smoking because we have a bunch of smokers that we use on stream a lot too. Okay, it did get choppy for a few seconds. Okay, I'm just going to turn the quality down on this guy. <laughs> you don't need it. The heck was valid then. The, the heck, heck was, was valid. valid. Okay. <laughs> valid. Now you can't unsee it. Shh, quiet. I might have to change my sweater. <laughs> okay, Vune cashed in some pots and pans points for me to cook something for him live on stream coming up. This is what you're cashing in. Salt and Boca a la Romagna. Okay, let's open this up and see how delish this looks. I accept the cookies. I wish that every time you accepted cookies, it actually just like dropped a cookie for you. <laughs> With my favorite risotto recipe. Oh yeah, blue blue. So we are, let's say Lego investors slash collectors. And now that you peeked at that let me just grab it real quick so we are going to be doing a giveaway coming up in september it's going to be quite massive as well we're giving away quite a few things i think there will be three different prize packs this is going to be one of the sets i'm going to do like a back to school sort of giveaway because september is also September on twitch so we're going to be giving away one of these every every one is awesome lego sets has to do with pride it is really really cool and i don't think you can find them anymore so he picked up one for us to eventually build on stream together and then one to give away to our wonderful community do i have cats oh that's a like this orange thing right there that's just a foam roller Yeah, give the Legos. Okay, let me catch up and then we'll check out Vune's recipe you cashed in. Lauren, you cried last night for the first time on stream. Someone who was new heard you mentioning some struggles, gave you a very random generous donation. You're overwhelmed but grateful. I don't know how you do it, so I'm doing good, right? When I say that, chat wrecks me and destroys me with love. Now you know what I mean. And yeah, sometimes it's really hard to accept because it's like, well... Feel like I'm not doing enough always for that. Trust me, Lauren, you deserve it more than you'll ever know or think. The brisket mark, yeah, valuable cook with Kate brisket stain. Can resell this for a uh, pretty penny turntable. <laughs> Hi, Amsand, welcome. Yeah, I don't collect Lego, but I suddenly want it. Okay, Vune's recipe. Salt and Boca a la Romagna. As its name suggests, it's one of the classics of Roman cuisine, much like carbonara pasta, one of my other loves. Seriously. Do 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 do. Reading it over. So it's like a veal cutlet with prosciutto on top and some sage. 
you make a white wine butter sauce to go with it and Vune wants me to make it with a side of risotto. Mmm. Might end up being like a squash risotto or something like that. Do uh, something crazy. Last TwitchCon you went to was 2018 in San Jose. Yeah, when they didn't have it in San Diego yet. Probably the last you'll go to. I want to hit up one more just to get like the partner experience stream done. So we are planning to eventually do the Europe one if they have it in Amsterdam again. Yeah, Carbonara. It's so easy, Lauren. So, so easy. Okay, that sounds so good, Vyun. And thank you once again for saving up all those pots and pans points. Okay, let's keep going through our request queue here. Do you also farm, Stream Dad? Where you said you build greenhouses. I'm learning so much about you right now. And yeah, you're right, it is harvest time, isn't it? Okay, so Eric requested Cubanos as the first thing made in the truck. So that will wait for probably another three months. A six month uh, request. <laughs> and so we have Mish requested a dessert, which I'll probably throw in this upcoming week. It's about a month old. It's called Paris Breast. And it is, so think of like a cream puff sort of texture it's called pate a shoe so it's like really puffy and light and then you fill it you like pipe it into a wreath sort of shape and you fill it with a praline cream mousse i remember making this back in culinary school and it is heckin good yeah just take the a out paris breast is what it's called kind of funny right you're rebuilding your farm, which includes this year three greenhouses. Oh man, you took three years off because your wife had ovarian cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that. She's doing well now, so time to focus on the farm and getting it running again. Well, that's, that's really good to hear that she is doing better. Seriously, I'm happy to hear that. And that is really cool. Yeah, I have a lot of relatives that are farmers and when we were on the island still I volunteered at an organic farm for I think about three months and I did it two days a week one of my favorite things I've ever done in my life very humbling would love to come visit your farm one day too <laughs> yeah it's named after the French city Brest not Paris Hilton <laughs> That's too good. That is too good. Okay, so that's the one dessert. And I always try and make like one kind of crazy dessert. Usually on a Thursday. First stream of the week. Because then we can slowly pick and eat the dessert as the week goes on. Yeah, yeah. We have a drone as well. So I would love to watch the drone vid of the farm and I'm sure Sam would love that too. He was actually thinking of asking one of my cousins to go out to his farm and do a video like that. That's so funny that you say that. So next one from Double Tap. Oh, I think I completed that one as well. A main dish and a pretty simple dessert. Wait, it's in Discord. Double Tap says, Jaeger schnitzel. So a schnitzel, which we totally can do. We could even do it on the green egg on, we'll do a wood fired wok to fry up the schnitzel. So we have like kind of two requests of cutlets right now. That's silly. And then going with that, they requested a dessert called cookie salad. <laughs> I was like, yes, please. And all it is is Oreos, pudding, and Cool Whip mixed together. <laughs> I was like, yes, I am so into that. I love the simplicity. If I go to your chat, type drone too, it'll give you the link. Okay, one moment. One moment. 
Stream Dad, IRL. Sweet, I see your past videos of the greenhouse building. That looks amazing. Your type of salad, right, Lauren? I was like, this is a salad I can get behind. You haven't had schnitzel since you're in Germany in 83. Whoa. Oh my gosh, so many raids today. Hi, Ernest. Hi, friend, and I just want to let you know, right after stream today, I'm going to message you back. I mean, everything is confirmed, just it's been a bit crazy. I had to go pick up Sam from Jasper, but everything is good now, and we're, we're still good to go with what we originally planned. Welcome in. Also want to say, so Ernest Cooking is here where we're living now in Edmonton, and they're actually the dining room from my culinary school. So they do a stream now and we are gonna collab. I'm gonna go see them in a couple weeks and we'll figure out what we wanna do. It's gonna be really fun. We didn't stay, Lauren. Yeah, the weather cleared up and we just bit the bullet, drove back home because today it's even worse outside. And thank you as well for the raid, Ernest. So yeah, if you want to see like behind the scenes in a culinary school, go give them a follow. It's really cool. Family has a version of the cookie salad called Dirt, where the cream is replaced or enhanced by Dutch processed chocolate and it looks like soil. Yes, please. Or like one of my favorite kid desserts, worms and dirt. <laughs> Should make that. I should totally, I think I have my like one chef jacket. I still have the houndstooth pants and I did keep a hat from the competition that I won. Totally doing it. I might just have to borrow a neckerchief. <laughs> Too good. And welcome back to you and I hope you're a-okay. Okay, so next one. This one is a very involved request from Blondie, but I know we're going to be able to do it. A poutine inside of a giant Yorkshire pudding with like bacon, obviously, poutine, fries, cheese curds, gravy, all of that inside of a massive Yorkshire pudding. I think we can do it. He has left us up to the task and there is an insane photo that he dropped in our discord just for a uh, reference. <laughs> yeah, a poutine, a patin. <laughs> Let me say it properly just for you, Rolo. And hi, Torino. I'm here eating Mr. Noodles, letting the beer and gummies kick in. And how's your baking going, my dude? How's the uh, irritable baking going on today over there? Chocolate and water, you're okay. <laughs> Welcome, Rolo. How is your day going in the ice cream shop today? Bubba, the worms and dirt was called garbage can dessert when you were growing up. Yeah, that's a good one too. It's like, that sounds really appetizing. <laughs> Hi, hippie. Welcome. Yeah, we're doing a bonus Monday stream. We thought, why not? Maybe check it out see if the community wants to have any input on what we cook throughout the week other than the special menu requests so a poutine do you know what a yorkshire pudding is or maybe i should call it a popover amp sand so it's like a hollowed out little piece of like eggy pastry that is typically served with like a prime rib dinner is a good example yeah, UK dude would for sure know. Legendary popovers over there. Oh, Rolo, it's a Monday waiting for pecan delivery. Yes, please. Yeah, so it's like a pastry. If you, if you want to go see the photo of it, pop in the Discord. And Blondie posts in food photos a bit back. You might just have to search for it. That's all. That's another one that I don't think I've made before. Toad in the hole, but without the sausage. Oh, new stuff coming in. Yes. 
So remember I said that I'm going to be extending all the mounting arms from our outside setup so that my cutting board doesn't shake when I'm cutting stuff because the camera is right in front. So all this stuff came in, so I'll be able to set that up after stream too and test it out. Oh. Upgrades on upgrades. Man. Sammy's got his burger fry shorts on. Ernest says hi, we got an Ernest raid too. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, Sammy's back. Okay, so usually I just go in my notes area on my iPad to figure out the menu, but I think I'll just write it down in my notebook as we go along here. We will add in one request for the week, possibly two if we're feeling really crazy. And other than that, whatever we're feeling like, got to find some inspiration now. You got a set of the Elgato lights, the key light Rolo. So that's what I have right up in front of me here. And it's so perfect. I have had nothing but great experiences with Elgato and I am getting ready to send a media package to them to see if they can offer something for us. Can you, before you get comfy, I think my notebook is just under that power bar up there. Just pass this over. I'll just hold it. That's why I asked before he got comfy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I've had this notebook since culinary school too. How can you tell? Look at these. Oh, look at these notes. Oh my God. It's so adorable. Kitchen organization, menu, type of establishment, size of the operation, physical facilities. Look at how many different chefs you can have in a kitchen. This is adorable. This is one of my favorite pages, though, that I ever did. Look at this, Ernest. You guys wonder why I am the way I am. Look at those cuts literally took a ruler and <laughs> measured it out on the page <laughs> and then it goes over the next page is all safety three basic rights right to refuse the right to participate and the right to know oh no they're gonna quiz me this is gonna be too good what happens if i fail <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Just so everyone knows, I graduated culinary school with honors. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. And hello, Suki. Number one, good afternoon, everyone. Number two, welcome home, Sammy. I didn't want to be home. Oh, I would actually be okay with that. I am not against whipped cream. I quite enjoy whipped cream. So if I need a pie in the face, if I don't do well in the quiz, that's kind of deserving. <laughs> Aww. So yeah, I have my name on a trophy in the Ernest dining room from the cooking competition that I won at the end of my program, let's say at the end of the two years you chose whether you wanted to participate in the competition and I ended up winning I thought I was gonna lose so when they're like yeah the winner is like Kate I just like started crying I was like no way <laughs> so that's cool that it's still in there that's crazy considering I graduated in 2012 Okay, so all I'm going to do for the week, so we stream Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, write out those days for whatever you're planning, right? Because, like, let's be honest. Does everyone cook every single day of the week? Like, usually we take Mondays off from cooking since I'm busy doing administration stuff, catching up on emails, messages, dishes, dishes stuff like that. We usually order or go out for something kind of special on a Monday. 
and then Tuesday, Wednesday, clear out the fridge so it's ready to go for the weekend of streaming. Hi, FCB. How are you doing? And welcome in. Yeah, hope you're having a good afternoon so far. It's so good to see everyone today. Thanks, guys, for joining us. I'm actually shocked that there's like 97 of you in here. I love you. Thursday. We'll leave a gap after that. Friday. Saturday. You didn't know Kate was lefty? Sunday. All her life. Oh, yeah. South Paw. So, we have it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Chase. You're feeling even better? That's so good to hear, FCB. Really, really happy to hear that. Somebody said free beer. Sama. That's what that you're offering like, the people? That's what? That's what Hippie said. I'm just getting, I'm just getting a beer. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I'm sinister. Watch out. Okay, so I really think that Thursday we should do Misha's menu request of Paris breast. We'll do a little bit of baking that day. A pate au choux with praline cream mousseline. So fancy. I don't think she's found a recipe yet. So that's usually the next thing that I look for once I figure out what I want to make. Rose, you cook every day because the kids always steal leftovers for breakfast, lunch, or school. Well, that is a valid reason for sure. I mean, there's really only two of us. So we typically don't make too, too much, right? Because we don't want to waste the food either if we don't have anyone to give it to. <laughs> so Kiwi Mish, she'll be so happy. A very Danadian dessert going down that day. And if anyone is wondering why we keep saying Danadian or Danida, so Mish is in Denmark, so she's Danish. And then she thinks we're very similar. So we're Danish Canadians now. <laughs> FCB, are you left-handed too? That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm having a sip of. And yeah, as you can see, there's still a couple boxes kicking around for us to unpack. You know, the messy move in life. So Paris breast. And so we find the recipe. And then from there, we also figure out the ingredients we need so we can make our grocery list for the week and only go one day one day to get all of the groceries unless the store is out of cilantro you might have to add an extra day <laughs> has anyone had this dessert before paris breast oh there's a ricardo recipe ricardo i've found has really good dessert recipes Almond praline? I don't really know if I like that. It doesn't look proper proper. I'm going to keep looking because I think usually it's hazelnut. Did Ricardo cheap out and use almonds instead of hazelnut? He might have. Avantika, thank you for the follow. Welcome. So we did have music on and I just noticed that it's no longer playing. I think iTunes has done something with itself. Oh, nice. You came in with Stream Dad. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, we did have background music. Dang it. Pistachios are getting ridiculous in price, Rolo. Can you give us an example of what you're paying right now? I love to compare. Is it no copyright? Yeah, I was just playing the stream beats lo-fi like always. But I've not used, this was like my old PC that I had back on the island for stream Torino. So I've not used it to stream in a bit and it took a little bit of setup this morning. FCB, thank you very much. Gifting a sub to Avantika joining our kitchen crew today. Welcome, Avantika. 
Feel free to ask away any questions if you have them. We are all here to learn together as this is an educational focus stream. 13 to $18 per pound of pistachios. Torino got a one kilo bag of pistachios at Shoppers for 10 bucks. That's pretty good. Right? That's pretty good price. You lucked out then. You lucked out. Okay, there's a Martha Stewart one. I find that sometimes the Martha recipes can be hit or miss depending on what it is. Like this one is 65 ratings, but it only has three stars. Pastry cream for Paris breast. I'm not, that's why I don't choose Martha recipes. I think pistachios and cashews are expensive everywhere. Some of the most expensive nuts, other than maybe we can say macadamia. Nicurbis? Pistachios give you nosebleeds? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's what we did before too, White Dove. I got just that big bag, one and a half kilo shelled for $15.99. That's a good price too. Hi, Mish. Guess what we're doing right now, Mish? We're just looking for the Paris breast recipe. We're going to be making it on Thursday this week, if that works for you. Oh, the other thing that I will look for is I know 100% that there is a recipe for this in my culinary school baking book. But that would involve me digging through my five cookbook boxes, which I don't know if I should. Okay, I found this one looks pretty good. Roadtopastry.com. It looks legit. The shoe pastry, the pastry cream, and then the praline mousseline cream. That's it. Okay, let me just quickly do this. I'll post it in chat. You guys can look it over, see what's coming up. Oh, the one on Serious Eats? Okay, let me look. Let me look, because that is also my other favorite spot. That would make me happier. Yes, Mish. That's the one. That is the one. So this is what it says. A classic French pastry featuring a crisp almond studded baked ring, ring of pate au chou, so puff, cream puff pastry, let's say. Otherwise you guys won't know those words. So you cut it in half horizontally. It looks like a little wreath is how you pipe it. And then you fill it with a praline cream mousse. Insane. So it was created in 1910 as an homage to the long distance Paris Brest bicycle race. That's really cool. I did not know that. Okay, number one, done. Looks like we'll only need kind of one specialty ingredient, which is the praline cream. I don't know if we'll be able to make it ourselves. Gotta go, all good, Ernest. Yeah, they, we don't need to cry about that. It's okay. And yeah, we'll chat soon. Like I said, I'll answer your message back after this stream today. Thank you once again for the raid and take care. It looks yummy, right? Yeah, if your two and a half year old saw this, that's a donut. Kind of looks like it. Okay, that's pretty cool, Mish. You already knew that because your dad's a bicycle nerd. <laughs> Torino, I will eat 20 of those. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, Misha, I can't recall. You might have already put this in our recipe section on Discord. I'm doing it again. So that's in our Discord recipe section now. 
scroll 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 so water sugar i have corn syrup we're gonna need some hazelnuts gonna write at the bottom of the page because I I use a grocery list app on my phone I'm gonna type it for you guys it's called bring if you want to look it up I don't know if it's available worldwide but Sam and I are able to use that app together and it like syncs so if he adds something on the list it'll be like oh Sam added something on the grocery list and then you just add the stuff and then as you take it off you just hit the buttons and it like goes away what's a good recipe using pistachios oh what have i made recently with pistachios and hi daff how are you coffee i had a single shot rando latte this morning i'm feeling pretty good and hi eric hi hi <laughs> yeah, right, Avantika? <laughs> that way you can't say, I didn't see your message. I, I already left the store. <laughs> does the Paris breast have chocolate? It does not have chocolate. Muffins? Pistachio muffins? Let me see this. My favorite thing. Pistachio. Discord. Search. Ooh, one, so a savory one that I've made a few times is called a broccoli spoon salad. It gets garnished with pistachios. It's really yummy. One of the last things that I made that used like quite a bit of pistachios was a pistachio layer cake. So you make a pistachio cake. It's super nice and green. And then it just has a simple cream cheese frosting. That one is from Sally's Baking Addiction. Here. Boom, boom, there's another one. That's for you, blood staff. And that was absolutely delicious. It wasn't too sweet. It was really nice and light as well. I lost my mouse. The battery might be dead. We might need help. And Mr. Slothman, oh, we've missed ya. And look at this. I mean, I'm not cooking today, but we just made a Twitch food, baby. Thank you for the nine months together. <laughs> yeah, time for you to be born with the elusive knowledge of cooking. I hope you're doing good. You can get the Bring app in the Netherlands. Awesome. Yeah, let me know what you think of it. It's so, so handy. You see it, right? R.I.P. battery. <laughs> Might need to walkie-talkie, Sam. Be like, we need another battery. Stop. Okay, so we got hazelnuts on the list. I think I have sliced almonds already, so we're good to go there. The shoe pastry, which is really simple. Milk, water, eggs, typically flour, I believe. So yes, the Serious Eats recipe, we make our own praline paste and it has both hazelnuts and almonds in it. So cool. So really the only thing we're needing is the hazelnut. That's really awesome. I need to do this because it did die. Or we might be able to plug it in. Oh, it says he's not available. We're all alone. No Sammy here to help us. Okay, I might have to run and go grab a battery for my mouse because I can't click nothing right now. Loaded in both phones. There you go. There you go. Okay, so first day of the week already complete. We're making some Paris breast, a beautiful French pastry dessert for Kiwi Miche. She saved up 75,000 of her pots and pans points watching this stream. Doesn't cost anything. And now she gets to watch and learn how to make this for herself. And the only specialty thing we need is hazelnuts. That's not bad at all. Okay, hold tight. 
I'm going to quickly run and go grab a battery for this mouse. Check what I need. It's just one. BRB. I'm running. And yes, I am very cozy today, if you couldn't see. Whew. I know, I left you alone. Whew. That was a good run. And it luckily stopped raining when I went out there. Okay, sounds good, Sloth. We will be awaiting your return. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I was going to say, very well behaved, Lauren. You guys must have expelled all your extra energy this past weekend on stream. All the firms are emailing you back after you already took a position and starting your job tomorrow. That's funny. Funny how that happens. Hey, Eric. You're like, sorry. I already found my spot. And hi, Mary. Welcome. No cooking today, DJ Beats. We're adding an extra menu planning stream. I thought that would be fun with the community. Maybe let you guys get some input on what goes down. Hi, Carrot Potato. It's been forever. How have you been? Are you still doing culinary school over there? <laughs> you snooze, you lose. Totally. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Take the interview, silent one says. Maybe they pay more or good practice, I wonder. You had a chilled out day today. You went to the pub after, or went to the pub at lunch after yesterday. Nice. What did you have at the pub? Mickey went to the pub. You're beyond practice. I like that, Eric. Nice, Carrot. Doing good. You're still doing culinary school. You have three weeks off. Yesterday you made, oh, I'm going to butcher this, Jang Jang Mian for the first time and it was delicious. I should try it. And you'll need to also look it up. I think I know what it is in my head. I'm doing really good, thanks. Yeah, it's so good to see you. And hello, Gino. That sounds yummy, Mickey. Steak and chips, onion rings, and mushrooms. Now I want that for lunch. Okay, so first one done. One request off of the list coming up. And a very tasty dessert coming in indeed. And of course, a bottle of wine with mom and dad. Heck yeah. Oh, Lauren, I've been thinking a grilled cheese flight of your choice. So like three different grilled cheeses. Yes. With tomato soup. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, Palooza. I'm just here snacking. Hi, Palooza. Do I want to cook Filipino? Yes. Yeah, we've done it before. I feel like that is a cuisine that I'm not super familiar with, so I would love to learn more as well. All right, we need Friday, Saturday, Sunday friendos. And we don't really have any extra proteins to use up. There's no freezer right now. So we just kind of buy throughout the week and make sure we use it up. 
Usually I try and switch up the proteins as well. Can't have beef every single day, right? You'll just get bored of it. And plus it's very expensive. I might have to make a chicken meal. Friday chicken day? Winner, winner, chicken dinner on a Friday? Oh, that sounds very simple. The name is crazy for it just being a dish of noodles with black bean sauce. Oh, so I've made before DJ Beats. We're totally going to do that. That's what we're doing Friday. I've done pork belly adobo before. Let's try the chicken one because it's been years since we've done it on stream. I think it was one of the first things Vune actually asked for. Friday chicken adobo. Hello, Tyler. Welcome and thank you for the follow. The hubby has returned with a stout. A stout. Oh yeah, and the tartare and ceviche. Okay. Saturday beef tartare day? That might be a one-off. I will have to ask my brother and Finn if they would be into that. Or we could just cook them up Sunday. a steak. You want to do a beef tartare on Sunday? Yeah, let's do that. That would Sunday. be a nice one too, because it shouldn't take us too long to make that. And maybe we can like dabble in making our own crackers. Or what about homemade potato chips? Oh. Use the RoboCoop to make some homemade potato chips, and then we'll fry them in the wok. That would be really nummo. Thanks for the reminder, Mary. Cheers, look at that. I mean, a bit cold for a stout. No, oh, it'll warm you up. No, like the stout is a bit cold, oh. or you let it warm up a bit. Warm up a bit. Yeah, it does seem like it's tempt. Yeah, Hitch is back. He's doing so good. Homemade mayo, yeah, we could do a little a whipped aioli, if you will, Mish. <laughs> the person I work with at Big Wheel Burger actually uh, stream sniped him in Newfoundland the other day. Yeah. So remember the burger spot that we always went to on the island? We would do IRL streams. So Sammy worked there before. And that guy that Sam worked with, his name is Alex, <sighs> stream sniped Hitch in Newfoundland. Yep. He was in Newfoundland wearing the Big Wheel Burger shirt. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, homemade sugar-free apple crumble. You enjoy those noms, UK dude. Okay, so Sunday, let's do beef tartare then. Do you think it would be good with the chuck roast? Uh, no, we'd have, to get, the fat? we'd have to get tenderloin. So when you're making tartare... One thing you have to think about because it's raw and going to be cold, you don't want a lot of fat in the meat because that is really weird on your palate. I mean, the cold beef fat would just completely coat your tongue and you wouldn't be able to taste anything else. Excuse me. So we'll have to go pick up. We'll just go grab an entire tenderloin. And this is hand chopped. So we'll bring the cleaver out on Sunday. So there's our beef dish. We said Friday was chicken adobo. Now we only need one more day. We're going too quick. Chat's being so helpful. I have heard that quite a few times of people from our community, Mickey. If it wasn't for Hitch, you wouldn't have ever found our stream. So I thank that dude every day for what he's done for us in the past. I think we should go raid Hitch today, actually, to be honest. Oh, we could on. do a hitch raid. Yeah, that's true. We have to go see Trevor. <laughs> Eric, I drank all my beer last night. I do have a milk stout left. <laughs> my a vegetarian day? Not a fucking chance. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know? What if it's like a chickpea curry or something? That's fine. <laughs> did you just say that to see what Sam's reaction was going to be? Beef tartare, so on our list, we'll put down their beef tenderloin. Oh, I also had Avantika go 
go download the Bring app for her and her hubby there oh, in the wicked. Netherlands. Because she's like, hubby always says he never gets my message when he's at the store. So now he has no excuse. Yeah, it updates right away. <laughs> Sorry, hubby. <laughs> Can even use the app for medication and other stuff. Sweet. And your daughter even. That's awesome. Trevor's trip through the U.S. was one of your favorite times. <laughs> oh, okay. I will check it out, Mickey. Okay. Beef tenderloin. So fancy. And I guess whatever we have left over extra from the tenderloin, we'll just cut into steaks or something like that. So beef tartare, Mish requested aioli. So it will be along the same lines of when we make hollandaise for our eggs, Benny's together. Very, very similar. Just you switch out the butter for oil. How about an unusual protein or game meat? Yeah, we have a lot better access to lamb now. What about like a grilled, marinated, sort of Mediterranean lamb chop? Ptarmigan. <laughs> have to ask Torino Ptarmigan's if he can good. get some of that. Pardon? Ptarmigan's good. Yeah? Yep. Sammy's had it before. I've never. <laughs> Carrot potato, you still remember the first time that you found me? All I know is you had super curly hair and you were making Moroccan food. <laughs> yeah, this is from my braids yesterday. You can see how that stays in. And it's true. Yeah, I do have very curly hair. Mary's saying make some gyros. Ooh, I do love making pitas. Oh, that's so cute, Avantika. I'm happy you're enjoying it. Okay, so our tartar, our aioli, so you just need eggs, oil, lemon, Tabasco for that. Really, really simple. If we want, we can uh, garlic it up with a bit of our roasted garlic oil that we have kicking around. And yeah, since the tartar is simple, we'll do homemade chips. Homemade potato chips. Heck yes. Hi, Bonk. Welcome in and happy Monday. Yeah, we're doing some menu planning today. Adding in a few extra hours to finish up this month of streaming. It will help us out behind the scenes. And I thought it would be really fun to get some community input for what we want to make together. Back to work day, I know, right? Back to work. This is my work day as well. Yeah, I know, the duck fat potatoes. Sam's right now, he's looking at a menu at one of my former chef's restaurants. It's called Northern Chicken. We might still do an IRL eating day still. An IRL stream today even? Maybe maybe tomorrow we'll save it, dearie. Maybe we'll save I think it we tomorrow. should save or get rested up. Okay, so going back to Friday, we're cooking some Filipino food. DJ Beats gave us a good idea. Chicken adobo. Mm. Yummies. We can do a bit of chicken butchery that day. And that's quite a simple one. Yeah, I think we're going to go visit Andrew tomorrow since the dining room is open again there and see if he's looking for somebody. I don't need to work, but I'd rather go do something. Yeah, Sammy doesn't need to work. So even if you can just get a couple days yeah. during the week, right? Yeah. That's better than nothing. Just topped up the wine glass. <laughs> yeah. And I think chicken adobo is typically done with rice. But first off, let's finish off our tartar. Let's see what Serious Eats says. Beef tartare. I'm sure they say something. Baltazar's steak tartare recipe. Let's do this. <sighs> recipe facts. 
total time zero minutes. I think something went wrong. <laughs> for the chicken adobo, most recipes say marinade for a few hours. I say 24, Vune says. So that makes sense then. We can, after we make the Paris breast for Mish, or maybe while it's setting up in the fridge before we cut it, you can butcher the chicken and get it marinated for Friday. White Dove, since it's getting colder there, would you like to make a soup in a bread bowl? A beer cheese soup? We can do like a broccoli cheddar. That would be nom. <laughs> and since I have the sourdough starter now, we can make a pretty deadly little bread bowl for sure. Yeah, I will, Vien. Yeah, let me know when you butcher the chicken. You can't handle it. Have I ever cooked with pig's butt and how comfortable am I with it? I've not, and I don't really adore it. I will say that. I also don't think I've had a proper experience with it, though. Like, I've seen some people I've worked with in past restaurants, like they made a blood sausage. I couldn't. That's kind of where I drew the line. I wish I wasn't like that, though. Like I said, I wasn't really getting in there hands on. So maybe it would be different, right? Oh, that's a good one, madame. Make something with the mandolin so that you can learn how to use your new one at home. Prouder, Josh Weissman has a killer adobo recipe. Okay. I will bring that up right now as well then, and we will view that in a bit. Adobo. Okay, Baltazar steak tartare. So they do filet mignon, they do minced onions. Are they making, are they making a little mixture? So this is all what goes into the chopped up meat afterwards. I like to switch out the onion for shallot instead. I just like the flavor better. We're talking about it on Friday, yeah. So we can marinate the chicken on Thursday, so it's primo. So a specialty, I know I don't have shallot right now, so I'll write that down. And then you need capers, got that. Cornichons which are different than a typical dill pickle. They're like very baby pickles and they are sweeter. And typically it comes in a small jar. So you don't have to worry about like being stuck with a, a ton of sweet pickles after that. That's like totally reminds me of my grandparents though. Cornichons, holy heck. <laughs> I have your personal ribs marinade recipe. It's your first ever self-made, so you don't want to share it yet, carrot potato. You're like dialing it in still. I like that. But honestly, feel free to share it. I mean, we could always help you out if you are unsure of how it's going to be. Uh, parsley on there. So I'll write that down. We have the anchovy already, so another place to sneak in the umami. Garlic olive oil, salt. I have white pepper. Oh, they even give a recipe from the Serious Eats for the tartare mayonnaise. They serve it with a baguette, but we are going to do homemade chippies instead on the big green egg, egg yolks, mustard, lemon. I don't have sherry vin, and I actually would like to pick up a bottle. Just a small one, so I'll pop that one on the list. Got the Worcestershire, got the hot sauce, salt, and the oils. Okay, so that's another one done, and I'll quickly pop that in the Discord. And that way, all the recipes are going to be in Discord ahead of time. So if you want to cook along with us on stream those days, you can go grab those ingredients and do that, right? That's what I also thought would be fun about this. Cornichon is the French word for pickle. Homemade chippies with the mandolin. Oh, 
Yeah, we could do it that way, madame, instead of doing the robo-coop. I think we can get them thin enough. And fun fact, making, like, fresh fried chips was one of my first ever tasks working in a restaurant here in Edmonton. I was the chip person, so I'd have to slice them all through the processor, then you soak them in the cold water, and then you drain them and start to fry them. Because we did like a chips with a homemade onion dip. It was so numb. Yeah, so crazy. Well, that's why I was saying it's very important you get the right cut of steak for it, Maya. Otherwise, the texture on your palate, if you choose too fatty of a beef, is really weird when it's cold. How long would you soak them for? I mean, as long as you have really, really cold water, I think about half an hour soaking the sliced potatoes for chips yeah, and then draining. Yeah. After that, make sure they're really dry, right? Otherwise you'll get like splatter up and it's terrifying. Okay, so there's that. So now we're going back to the adobo recipe. Someone said Josh Weissman has a really good one. So let's check it out. Oh, he even has a video. I think that's the only place we can get the recipe, hey? Or no, this is his site. Perfect chicken adobo. Okay, that does look actually really delicious. <laughs> it better turn out perfect. Let's see if it's actually perfect. Yeah. Right, yeah, Maya's mom is a chef, which is so cool. She knew what she was doing. Maya just didn't like it. And that also just shows how different everyone's palate is. So chicken adobo is a Filipino dish. This is weird though. I don't like this explanation that I was going to read just now from Wikipedia. Let's read this one. So they say chicken adobo is a type of Filipino chicken stew. The chicken pieces are marinated in soy sauce and spices, then pan fried and stewed until tender. Dish gained popularity because it's delicious taste and ease in preparation. And I will say I've had the pork belly adobo before I made it for us and it is so, so good. Sometimes the most simple things are the most surprising and delicious. Right, Bonk. Yeah, just the thought of consuming raw meat turns people off. That's why, like, a lot of people can't have sushi. I can have certain types of sushi. I will say probably my least favorite one is salmon. I don't know why. It's just the texture and the chew of the salmon. If they cut it too thick, I can't eat it. But like the fish pieces that just like melt in your mouth, yes, that's okay. Oh, you did get a new snail, madame. Congrats. And yeah, Mish, doing cinnamon and savory dishes, you probably had it overpowering once and it's just, it's bad. Yeah, it can be really bad. And yeah, the other thing in the adobo adobo dish which is really interesting is there's a good amount of vinegar inside of the braise too which helps to break down the meat and make it more tender i want to see what they serve this with nothing we can guess rice though right view and help So he does chicken drumsticks and thighs, whereas we're just going to do a whole chicken. We'll probably pick up a couple, probably two chickens. You bought one new snail and the next morning you had five. So you had to dispose of the extras as was advised to you from the fish store. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> they had overnight babies? Currently, there's a 
20% off promotion for Search and Rescue Den Denim using Summer 20. Sammy says, if you want to pick up an apron for yourself and want an extra 5% off from Search and Rescue Denim right now. Summer 20. Gonna pop the link to this site. Oh, <laughs> S apron. Good one. No, I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Said the code right now is summer 20. If you want to pick something up for yourself, that's pretty good. No, you still won, Bonk. You still won. You beat me. That's like a really good deal. 20% off. That's crazy. One fifth of the cost of apron. Yeah. Okay, we got rice vinegar. <laughs> Chat, do we have soy sauce packets? Oh no. Might have to open them pre stream. <laughs> Half a cup of soy sauce from the packets. That'll uh, put a good dent in there for sure. I'll get that prepped before stream. <laughs> Also, dark soy sauce, which I have. Black pepper. We got, they say palm sugar, so I have coconut sugar still. Water, green onions. We got bay leaves. Oh, what? They do pot stickers with it? Oh, that's just a different method, I see. Okay, so anyone that's had adobo before, is this typically served with rice? And on that note, I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break. I'm just going to turn the mic down. Hang tight. You can still be here with Sammy. Or you want me to just turn it off? Yeah. Okay, quick mute. Always make it with rice? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Phew. Tell a secret about Kate. I like liver. That's the worst secret ever. I despise it. <laughs> despise it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not pretending. Thanks, madame. <laughs> Thanks, carrot. I'm a barf. I don't know what's like... I loved liver when I was young from the stories that I'm told. But tastes change, I guess, as you get older. Blech. Holy oh, heck! Me. This one's still alive! <laughs> Titan! Thank you so much for the resub! 21 months in a row! How are you doing? How have you been? I was worried about you. Almost at two years, part of the kitchen crew. You're alive, good. <laughs> it's not the ghost of Titan. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so chicken adobo. Mish has confirmed that it is served with rice. Simple. 
I like it. And then I was thinking about a veg side. We have some of the zucchini from Lazy Lozy's garden that he brought over. So I think we'll just do like a roasted zucchini sort of dish, maybe a salad, something like that to use up the veg that way. Because I don't like to waste anything. So I'll just write zucchini on there. I already wrote down all the ingredients for the adobo. Is adobo anything? What you mean heat ender? And yeah, hi Wilson. Sammy is home safe and sound. We drove back late last night, but the roads were so nice and quiet. It, it made sense. And we're doing good, Titan. Yeah, this is a bonus stream today. So thanks for popping by. Thought we would do some menu planning together. Okay, so we just have Saturday left. We got the Paris breast on Monday for me. Chicken adobo Friday. And beef tartare so far on Sunday. So we got chicken, beef for proteins. We feel like something porky pork it up. I see adobo, but there's not one adobo. <laughs> You're experimenting in the Asian kitchen. Nice carrot potato. Asian food is really good. So good. And there's so many different styles, right? Okay, so we are doing deep frying on Sunday. Do we feel like making schnitzel on Saturday? Because that is a menu request right now, too. Can we have a cook with Sammy and the main ingredient is mustard? That that would be possible. Like, we could make a beer mustard. I don't even want to smell it or touch it. You don't even like beer nope. mustard? Nope. He can't handle that even. Nope. Germans are supposed to love mustard. It's the Canadian side. I don't know. It's the Canadian side. Something went wrong. Oh no, madame. I hope you figure it out. And yeah, dentists are insanely expensive, right? Should give a fool few rules of engagement with marinades. Went to a barbecue at a friend's place. He used his chicken marinade to base all the foods on the grill. Oh no. Oh no, Maya. Please tell me that he like really well cooked everything else that he was slathering the raw chicken marinade onto. Please. Oh no. <laughs> Even Mary's like, oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh, Titan, oh, no. Titan's threatening. I have 207k pots and pans. We can make it happen. So yeah, Sammy is, his mom is full German. He was born there and your dad is Norwegian Canadian. Yes. We can say. Yes. Yes. I keep it shawarma. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> That's a great name. I like name. that. <laughs> That's a great name. Maya, you really love mustard, but don't like ketchup? <laughs> that is fair. I really only use ketchup now for making barbecue sauce or for my fries. That is pretty much it. Dog training, you just came in and now you want to cry? Like happy tears, I hope? Who does that? I don't know. <laughs> I was asking... Do we feel like making schnitzel on Saturday? Fuck that's, yeah. that's one of the requests still. 100%. A Jaeger schnitzel for double tap. But then, okay, so we gotta make cookie salad too then. Cookie salad? Cookie salad. Like? Oreos, pudding, and whipped cream. <laughs> I'm fucking in. <laughs> yeah. Hubby needs mustard for grilled cheese. The yellow one, Mary. This is a serious convo right now. I don't know. We got to talk to Double Tap Bonk. I even got a PDF recipe linked to me in Discord from Double Tap for their family's cookie salad. <laughs> 
This is what they say. This is the basic recipe. Feel free to tweak or make any changes. I've made it lactose free before by using lactose free milk for the pudding and a coconut whipped topping. Also curious how it will be using just the whipped cream, but you've never taken the time. And then Jaeger schnitzel is the main that they wanted. <laughs> yeah, we are in, right? It's so simple. Question is, have you ever put squeeze cheese on graham crackers? No. No. And does that exist here? Pardon? Squeeze cheese? Or is that only in America now? I think it's only in America now. Don't tell your nieces about the salad. He's such a sweet lover. Yeah, did you see Sam's face when I said it? You know what would also be good if you like contrasted the Oreos with some of the Nutter Butter cookies, like peanut butter and chocolate. <gasps> Mish, the feta. Oh no. Okay, what if we make a salad to go with the Jaeger schnitzel? Because that's going to be heavy on its own that has feta in it. Maybe like apples, feta, because I have leftover Granny Smith in the fridge. Apple feta and some toasted hazelnut. Mmm. <laughs> okay, so we're doing two pots and pans redemptions this week. That feels good. Then we only have one two, three, kicking around. It gets stressful when they start to build up. I'm not going to lie. Jaeger schnitz. Schnitzel. Do we have an extra room? Yeah, there's a front room. You better hurry up and get here, Titan, before it gets full of truck parts. Roasted veggies and fruit. Oh, like grilled. Yeah, Sam actually has some really nice pears, peaches, and plums that he got from the farmer's market in Jasper. Yeah, my bro is streaming right now. He's finishing up his orange truck, which I absolutely adore. I mean, showing all the Okanagan frutas. And it was so cute, Sam said, when he picked up this stuff from the farmers. They told him exactly how many days all of the different fruits should stay on the counter. Like those, those pears are juice balls. Oh, I'm having one of those later then. 100%. Okay, Jaeger schnitzel, which means, what do we want to cut it out of? A pork shoulder? Yep, 100%. Every time. Pork shoulder <clears throat> on the list. We have lots of panko breadcrumbs, lots of eggs. We defo need some milk. Serve with a little creme fraiche with the roasted veggies and fruits, you're saying? I've never had this before. I'm intrigued though. Okay, next one. So Josh Weissman's adobo is now in Discord recipe section as well. If you want to make it for yourself, go save it. Or we can even cook together on Friday. Boom, next one I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna do serious eats. Schnitzel. No. What do we want? Nothing. I will build a recipe for you. Sammy is gonna type up a recipe to share PDF. Okay. We do our own schnitzel here. In this house, we don't follow a recipe for schnitzel. Sammy schnitzel recipe, all right, so we don't forget. Yeah, we are out of sour cream. That's true, Mary. It was alive, even though it looked like it was perfect. <laughs> Palooza, or not Palooza, carrot potato. I touched my own butt without consent and now I'm confused. <laughs> we do have bay leaf, even fresh, <laughs> fresh 
stuff that was given to us by our friends on the island. That's too good. Yeah, carrot. That was way too good. Okay, so Sammy says no schnitzel recipe. Apple hazelnut salad. No, not blue cheese. I mean, we can maybe link that one and just switch it out for feta. Caramelized apple and hazelnut salad. Oh, not not with celery either. That looks nummy, right? Yeah. Except one piece, but that's fine. Yeah, we switch out the blue cheese for feta. Or brie. Oh, this is what it says. This apple, hazelnut, and blue cheese salad could also be pear, pecan, and goat cheese. Or blueberry, almond, and feta. Mm -hmm. Whatever combination suits you, the method is the same. I think the pear, pecan, goat cheese will be way better. Okay. Because we have pears and seeds I am with this one. I'm posting that up. I like how she leaves all of the options open for inspiration yeah that sour cream i don't know what went wrong maya it's so disappointing like was untouched and really it should be stable enough to like last quite a long time if it's not touched in the fridge the fact that i had to throw out almost that whole container upset have we double fried pork belly yet i've done before dj beats pork belly burnt ends on the big green egg So you first smoke little like pork belly nubbin chunk pieces until they get nice and crispy. And then you toss them with a barbecue sauce that you make. And then you cook it for about another hour. So it like infuses and crisps back up. Insane. Absolutely insane. And I also did a YouTube video. Not a long one. It was a nice short YouTube video showing how I did it. It was really fun. Also, one of the few times that I believe it was snowing on the island. Good flashback. Okay, so scrolling down here, she does a balsamic vinegar sort of dressing. We'll probably just make Sam's mom's OG German dressing. Is there ever a certain name for that or just vinaigrette? Vinaigrette. Just a vinaigrette. It has Maggi in it. Taylor fix. Oil, vinegar. Oil and vinegar. Really, Maybe really some simple. Salt if you need to. Yeah, the pork belly burnt ends. By the time I was done, it was like almost too much for me to take in. It was that unctuous. It's, it's dirty. <laughs> I was like, okay, I need to wait a while before I make these again. <laughs> So yeah, she just does any sort of salad lettuce that you want. They used romaine. We'll see what looks best at the store. Whatever type of nut, your cheese, and then a fruit. And I really like that for balancing salads. We can probably hit the farmer's market on Tuesday for that. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a little day of gallivanting then. That could be fun. Yeah, dirty good for sure, Mary. It's like, whoa, yeah. was not ready so for this. So when a chef says dirty, it means that it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, that's dirty. It's not a bad thing. It's a really good thing. Okay, so salad. Somebody calls you filthy. Just want to. That means you're dirty. Just want to put this out here. Don't want to hear anything coming up this week. <laughs> <laughs> salad and then i'll just put fruit whatever looks the best don't at her don't even at me don't even mention it <laughs> thanks <Parasite>. mish <laughs> mish i'm making your menu request this week and we're cooking with feta yeah we'll just deactivate it for this week <laughs> i like it bonk <laughs> Feta, salad, fruit, because we already have the hazelnut. That is our nut we're using. (laughs) That is a very small grocery list. Mm -hmm. Do we have any cravings for anything else that we need? Do you want cucumbers in your life? Probably. Cucumber. 
Oh. Are you okay? That is a shiver. I think you can unselect the command view. Or bonk. I can do it. Filed with hazelnut. Fruit. Feta. And homemade vin. That's a nice balanced menu for the week. A lot of different stuff going on, I have to say. Lots of different cuisines. We're going French pastry on Thursday. Friday's Filipino food. Saturday, we're going more like German, Eastern European style. And then Sunday... Contemporary... I don't really American. know. I no, guess French. beef tartare is back to France. Yeah, so... So we did like a whole little trip around the world then. Yeah. <laughs> I taught you how to say dirty, Mary. I love that you're saying it at home. Oh, that's dirty good. Yeah, dirty good. Oh, yeah, carrot potato. So trying to find the ingredients for some of the Asian recipes, you're having trouble. You're in the Netherlands, right? I'd say probably the easiest Asian cuisine. Most of them already know you anyways. <laughs> and high dust. So yeah, doesn't Netherlands have big influence from Indonesia? And hi, Tom, Tom, Tom. How are you? Yeah, World Tour 2021. Let me see this. Stream elements, chatbot, commands, custom. The feta is probably on the back page. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Locked. Okay, dust is in here. They just sent the professional photographer photographer over. House is going on the market on Wednesday, and you're having the open house this weekend? Yay! Holy smokes, dust. Great job, dude. The fact that you did all of that by yourself, really well done. You never gave up, you never surrendered, and it's happening. And I hope the showings go well, too. I really hope it does. I bet, Maya, yeah, we're going like multicultural. Shows are Canadian mode. Oh, carrot potato. I said, aren't you in the Netherlands? And then I know that there's a lot of Indonesian influence in the Netherlands and maybe a bit of Thai as well. Yeah, I locked it up. Even if you try the command, nope. Oh, yeah. The house that we were living in on the island is for sale if anyone wants to come up to Canada or come on over. UK dude, you waved. Yeah, that's my sister-in-law. <laughs> Quick stream pee break for her too. <laughs> that's Finster Angle if you ever see her. And so she is a heavy duty mechanic that works typically on weekends. So that's who, when I say like, I'm making your lunch for tomorrow because she never gets to eat the food fresh when I make it on stream because she's at work and then she brings it to work the next day. That's what you get to eat today, Finn. Where are they moving to? I believe they're just moving closer to where they are both working. So closer to the city. Yeah, so like now you can see how insane the prices of housing is in BC as well. It's not worth that much. Not even close. It's probably the exact same in California. Hey, Bonk. Okay, I don't think I forgot anything here. Oh, we probably want russet potatoes for the chippies, not warbas. Probably, yeah. Okay, russet potato. That's an important one, too. Like, there's no way there's $400,000 worth of improvements done in the last three years. Mm, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. This is a food stream. Just as bad there in Cali. And hi, Scat. Welcome in. 
Are you lurking and working today? A somewhat decent five bed goes for three quarters of a million. So not so. So not so. Also pretty close to that. Yeah, very, bed. very similar. Okay, I start up the Sammy Schnitzel recipe so we don't forget. Menu is complete. Do I wa even want to type it up right now with everyone and post in Discord? Good. Amazing. This was really fun and super successful, guys. How long did this take us to plan a menu together? Just under two hours. That's really good. And it's much more fun than me just like sitting here being like, okay, what do I want to make this week? <laughs> oh, okay, carrot potato. That does make sense. You were digging a ditch? <laughs> what? Now you don't want to move? Getting in your exercise, scat. Yeah, interactive menu planning. And then I'll also put for Saturday, I don't want to forget, that's for double tap. So two pots and pan requests being crossed off today. Are you good? I think so, yeah. Okay, I'm good. I'm really happy with what we did. Yeah. That's awesome. This is going to be guys... so yummy. I'm excited now. Did you guys enjoy the Monday stream? Did you like the menu planning? Well, Bong just said it was a good choice. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a long, long stream, but I no. think it's fun to just kind of hang out and get ready for the week coming up. Yeah, I stream every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes Mondays. <laughs> and, and Caitlin's not stressed out. She's not cooking. She's not having to worry about having something done today and I thought it was a good idea to just show you guys what Caitlin does to get ready for the week yeah well we got good input like DJ Beats set us up we're making chicken adobo Friday yeah so like gave us some inspiration if you guys have ideas and you don't want to use the menu the redemption then maybe pop in on Mondays and you can help build the menu right Eric got into a fight with a tree this week, and the tree won? The tree always wins. Careful. <laughs> You're okay? Yeah, careful taking branches down by yourself, dude. And please tell me you're, like, wearing some safety gear. <laughs> the bun recipe in Discord, Mary. So Which buns? The last amazing buns that we made? Ooh. Yeah, they want to watch us play two of us together. 100%. We can, we can add play. that in. Yep. We'll get set up for it maybe next time. After we finish the menu, we the can play game. a bit of games together. That would be really fun. And oh. you, I believe it is in there, Mary. Let me just check. We're going to do Wednesday game nights. Wednesday game nights? Not your normal stream time. Night time. Yeah. From like 7 till 11. Buns. Excuse me. Why playing am I games not in the middle of the day this? doesn't make sense. But playing games at nighttime and chilling with people does. Oh, we made that on the pork. Asian pork on a bun. Asian style pork on a bun. Titan just crushed a half pound beef and cheddar from Arby's. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, well, nothing's <laughs> coming up. <laughs> what are you looking for? The buns that I made for the Asian pork buns, Mary wants to make. She was asking if it was in Discord. Uh, it was a King Arthur recipe. Is it a brioche? It wasn't the beautiful burger buns. It was a different one, right, Sam? dinner rolls it might have been those well why don't you search the day and then the recipe should be there right soft 
Wait, dinner rules? I might have to go back and look on the VOD. I can't search. Oh, what VOD was it? What were you... Asian pork on a bun. Asian pork on a bun. Seated. Oh, it was the Kaiser rolls. Ah. Remember yeah, it was the, the Kaiser non-Kaisers. The Kaiser non-Kaiser. <laughs> okay. Recipe incoming in chat and I will post it up in our Discord. That was really good too. How did that not get posted in there? Because it was called rolls and I was searching for buns. Best buns on Twitch right here. Thanks, Titan. And it is a fact. Those were literally the best buns ever. And I, so when I was young and Arby's was still pretty good, that, that would be what I would get. Titan is a beef and cheddar. So nom. Okay. I think we're wrapping up for the day, friendos. Thank you so much to everyone that stopped by today, hung out with us, maybe gave us a little bit of input into the streams coming up this week. Yeah, the horsey sauce. Now I'm craving Arby's, but I'll probably be disappointed if I go have it. So I'll just keep that in my memory instead. Yeah, for sure, Dust. I would love to take a look. Once the house is listed. And so we will be back Thursday, as always. Our next two days will be, like I said, maybe a little bit of gallivanting, getting set up for the rest of the week. Yeah, have a great Monday. I like to start the week this way. Maybe start with a bit of positivity, something different, right? Let's go see Hitch. We're going to go raid Hitch? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, your brother doesn't want too many people today. That's why I, I said that. He He's already said it? Okay. He doesn't want... Rando is not feeling up to the pressure of all of you crazies. By all means, though, <laughs> go see Rando. He's currently putting in the drive shaft on the truck. Yeah. But we're going to go raid Hitch. <laughs> he's like... Yeah, this morning I was like, yeah, we're going to go raid you after. He's like, or you cannot. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, I'm getting this set up. Hitting the button. Let's go see Trev and see how he's doing. See if he remembers us after all this time. Oh, he remembers us. And yeah, we are for sure gonna get that game, Maya. I think I would really enjoy it as someone who doesn't play a lot of video games. I watched Lupo and his wife play it. Oh, yeah. And my God, it, it is great. It was really cute. Okay. He remembers. Yes. Okay, message me in Discord, madame. We can chat for sure. And yeah, if you are interested, if you want to go see my brother in his garage stream, he's just finishing up his GMC truck today. He did a transmission replacement in there, and then the next step is getting into our truck. So exciting. He's having big internet issues today. It keeps That's disconnecting. That's a okay. A lot of people don't know that stream yet so i think it's fun still to share okay i'm gonna hit this button friendos thank you for everything today and super look forward to doing some cooking coming up and i'm back week. yeah and we got sammy back seems like the norm exactly yeah it's kind of something that is a bit expected right okay see bye. you thursday 11 a.m pacific as always bye